What's up guys? Week here as usual. Uh, about nine o'clock here on Sunday morning. And come out aboard the hydro core here to make sure everything's alright. Uh, got a lot of rain here in the last week obviously. Quite a bit of wind last night too, so anyway, the reason I'm kinda videoing today is we got a boat that went adrift last night. You see it right behind me here. Uh, Lamb of God, Charles Kelly, his top chain separated from his bottom chain, and apparently the Lamb of God had the hand of God guiding it ashore, because the fucking thing's fine. Per straight up on shore, just perfect. If mine would have went ashore, you would have just, it would have went and found the biggest rock. You went smash, smash, smash right on top of it. That's where I'm a heathen. But his is fine. Yeah. Whatever, you know, it's always, I'm glad it's alright. It's a wicked stress case. I'm sure he's got plenty of insurance and all that stuff, but it still is no fun to mess around with that foolishness. So, we're going to go in and take a better, closer look at it here in the skiff and. Show it, show it to you guys real quick. Like I said, luckily it perched up the way it did. We were waiting for the tide to come. Uh, he's also a pastor at a local church here. So, I don't know if he's going to make it to church today or not. Probably we're going to go in, take a closer look at it, and see what we're doing. guys I don't know but the way she's angled she's gonna she's gonna have a hard time floating back the way that she's angled we had uh, flood warnings and stuff like that with that high tide last night so by the time that thing wants to right itself where it's leaned towards the shore the water's gonna have to get up high enough towards the shoreline to front to correct itself you might have to get another boat in there to yank it down. Uh, like I said, no damage to the hull so far. Everybody's just kind of kicking rocks around down there waiting for the tide to come. Uh, I guess he already went to church. So, he's at church praying that this thing goes alright. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. They'll get it uprighted somehow, but what a pain in the ass. That's a big object to have it that far up on the shore like that. And the way the wind was blowing, which I believe was northeast, it put it up on there pretty good. So, anyway, well, my, boat, my boat made it today anyway, so. But, uh, this goes to show you, don't, don't matter how new, uh, how expensive your equipment is, something can go wrong right there, so. Take a $400,000 boat can go ashore just like a $10,000 boat can. So it's one of the joys of boat ownership. Yeah, yeah. yeah you didn't buy it for the house, did you? <laughs> no, that looks good. Amazing yeah. little money will do, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well guys, after many attempts, we couldn't quite get a, uh, the tide, what happened is, is that the high water at night was bigger than the high tide that just happened right now. There's like a 13 footer last night, and it's like a 12 and a half footer, uh, today and there weren't enough water when we got it propped up but it wouldn't you just it would be it was sitting right on the keel so 
Guys is coming down here at midnight tonight to figure out with it. So he talked about a mission. Nothing was, nothing's hurt yet. But Jesus, never seen nothing like it where you know the boat got up higher than where the tide's gonna come up. So just a pain in the ass, guys. But that's where we're at. We're all abandoning ship right now and keeping our fingers crossed, I guess. But see what happens. Well guys, we've gone from bad to worse here. They tried to get it at midnight last night, and it wouldn't work. And he sucked a piece of chain right there into his reverse gear, blew the reverse gear, ruined the wheel, and like I said, this is day two here. Chris Chipman's here with a big piece of rope. to try to yank her. So, we might just see some devastation here in a second. Well, at least the ass end's gonna float. The stern's gonna stay up. <laughs> 